filming on my phone, so this footage might be a little bit less quality, um, but I'm in the new house. Um, things are well underway. Um, our bedroom's upstairs and the living room are all decorated and ready. Um, Avery's room I've not yet decorated, but um, as it was an extension, it was kind of a lot newer than the rest of it. It wasn't replastered, so it's in a decent enough state to be able to move things into. It just needs decorating, really. The carpet's down. Um, and the hallway is not decorated, but I went to B&M the other day and I picked up some samples. I've decided I'm going to stick with the Dulux brand because we tried a cheaper brand of paint for the ceilings and it took a lot more coats than the Dulux did. So we're just going to stick with Dulux, even though it is a bit more expensive. Um, but I have a couple of colors for Avery's room. I know what I'm doing for Avery's room. I'm going to go for um, one kind of feature wall with paneling and then like a loud wallpaper above it and then some kind of pink tone um, on the rest of the walls. Um, I just haven't picked the wallpaper yet, so I'm not sure what pink I want to go with, but I picked a couple from Dulux and I'm just gonna sample them on the wall. And then when I choose the wallpaper, I'll see which one goes best. And then I've picked three colors for um, the hallway. And also I think this color, I will probably paint the kitchen and sort of entryway where Avery's extension is. Um, that's all kind of leading into one, so it needs to be the same colour, but I just thought if I pick one paint colour, I've only got to buy the one paint colour in there and for the hallway. I am thinking about getting a decorator in for the hallway and landing though, just because I can't reach and I don't like the idea of going up a ladder and we don't have one anyway. So the colours I've chosen to try for the hallway and the kitchen are um, Egyptian cotton. I feel like this is a really classic colour. By the way, the wall behind me, this is Natural Hessian by Dulux. I really like it. It's definitely warm. I think Egyptian cotton is slightly cooler than Natural Hessian. I also have Timeless and White Mist by Dulux. They're all kind of very neutral colours. Um, Timeless and White Mist are almost like off-white, but I wanted to keep it bright because our hallway is very, very dark. This is our stairs slash hallway. So as you can see, very dark, not much natural light coming in here. So I want to keep the walls as bright as possible. The flash is on my phone at the moment, which makes it look a little bit brighter. Um, but it is quite dark in here. So I want to keep the walls as bright as possible. But I'm thinking I do want to eventually do panelling along the walls. And I want the panelling to probably be white. So I wanted to pick an off-white so that there was at least a difference between the two colours. And then for Avery's room, I have dusted fondant, I think it's called. Yeah, dusted fondant and blush pink. So these ones I'm going to try out in her room. And then the three whites, I will... Um, just test them out in lots of different areas where the lighting's different in the kitchen and in the hallway to see which one I like best. morning guys it is what's the date monday the 28th of october the move is getting closer we have decided the day we officially move in will be friday since that is the day that our broadband is going to be going in um as you can probably tell from behind me the sofa is gone so we're kind of down to skeleton furniture in this house house at the moment um, we're having a day in this house today because I have a day of kind of like admin, phone calls, things like that to do. I have contacted Avery's Medical Waste Service um, to change the address this morning. I need to call the TV licence. I've been on the phone to Mobility for quite a long time, just trying to sort out some issues that we're having with the van. Um, so yeah, long story short, it's been a day full of phone calls, but I do have a few new updates. Um, first one's a horrible update. I'm afraid I have another UTI, um, which is just, just perfect timing to be feeling super uncomfortable. Um, but I learned my lesson. I am not overloading my body with water to flush out my electrolytes like I did last time. Last night was rough. I'm not going to lie. I'm feeling a little bit better today and I'm hoping I'm just going to continue to feel better. 
Um, what else is there to update you on? Oh, I had a phone call today from the um, the panel regarding schools and whatnot, and I'm pleased to say that Avery has gotten into the special school that we really, really wanted her to get into. Um, to go alongside that, she's also been awarded transport, which is amazing. So hopefully after half term, we'll be starting to get her settled in in her new school. And um, I have mentioned before that this school does kind of go from the age of three all the way up to 19. So um, Avery can settle there, which will be really, really nice. So that's exciting. And it was definitely a nice bit of positive news that we needed today. Um, also, you might see behind me we've had a new delivery um avery's ex panda has arrived that's not kind of been sort of adjusted for her yet it's literally just arrived just today um so i've sent a text to her ot and hopefully we can get that adjusted soon so that she can start using that um her new peapod should hopefully be arriving in the next few days maybe even today that's a possibility um i've got blinds arriving today to go in the new house um yeah it's all happening and alongside this video i am also filming decorating avery's bedroom which will probably be up after this video i would, Im I would imagine i'm still waiting for a few more bits and bobs to come for her room to be able to get that finished um so yeah it's kind of all systems go i'm at that point now where it's a little bit overwhelming because there's so much going on at once i actually had to take some time yesterday to sit down and actually kind of plan out my days of everything that i needed to do and get done before we moved because it was all in my head and it was very overwhelming and i feel like when you write things down you often realize there actually wasn't as much to do as you thought there was it's just you needed it kind of in front of you on paper to follow i definitely find it a lot easier when my thoughts and my plans are kind of written down on paper so i can kind of follow from that so i'm kind of crushing my list for today and um yeah i really really hope there'll never ever be another reason for us to move house again because it's awful i hate moving house i'll be really really glad when it's done um, the house is looking really, really good. We've had our cooker delivered. I'm really happy with it. Um, I'm in the middle of decorating Avery's room. Like I said, that will all be in a separate video. The living room is basically done. There's a few more bits of beading and kind of um, sort of um, floor strips to go on where the doors meet. Um, we've got to try and figure that out because the kind of height difference on the kitchen floor and the living room floor is a bit off so we've still got to figure out things like that so it's mostly trim um but a good kind of 90 percent of it is done um our bedrooms are done aside from painting the doors but we don't see the point in doing that until we've done the um kind of stairs hopefully that won't take too long to get done um the bathroom we are still waiting on permission from the council before we can start getting quotes on how much it's going to be to retail the bathroom um so yeah it's all happening but the house is kind of at a point now where it's comfortable to move into it's perfectly fine to move into um so we're moving on friday tomorrow i'll be spending the entire day at the new house um because i am waiting for a delivery there which i've already missed once so i'm just going to try and get some stuff done well that there while i'm there we've already got quite a bit of stuff over there um so i will probably just start unpacking a few bits and bobs while i'm there um wednesday i think is another day in this house trying to get things sorted same with thursday just trying to get things sorted and then friday um, i will be going up to the new house with the kids early early in the morning we need to be there by eight um because the um internet engineer could come anytime from that so that is kind of the plan for this week. So Avery is just having her feed and we have a big box. It is Avery's pea pod and actually it turns out it was delivered to the wrong house, the right street, wrong house. And it's been there since Friday. The poor lady didn't know where it was supposed to be coming to. She was calling the company. They managed to get through to me today to let me know it was at the wrong house. And I had to go and pick it up for her. And I mean, you can see how big the box is. And this poor lady had to keep this box since Friday. But bless her, she didn't seem to mind. But we're gonna rip this open. I mean, it's not like I don't know what this is going to look like because, you know, we've got a pea pod. But I'm intrigued to see how big it is. So 
we got it in black. Um, just thought it might go with everything a little bit better. Avery Speed finished. Black is, um, I feel like a bit more neutral, so it's more likely to go with whatever so here is the size comparison i feel like there is quite a big difference avery is currently in the size two so that is the i think the bean bags come in three sizes so that's the the smallest bean bag and she has the size two liner and then this is the size three so this is the medium bean bag so there is actually one that's bigger than this but this is the medium bean bag with the size three liner so i am going to switch her over and see how comfortable she is in the new one and she is modeling that beautifully so she fits in it really really nicely um i feel like she's going to get a fair bit of use out of it she's definitely got a little bit of room to grow but it's still really nice and snug for her she sat more upright than in that one which is really really good better for her reflux and it just helps her see things much better she looks really really cozy and comfy in it um yeah i'm happy with that i mean to go off on my usual side rant on how much special needs equipment costs but is it worth 800 pounds probably not but is avery worth it definitely morning guys we are in the new house um, I'm waiting for a delivery today, so I kind of need to stay in, although I've not had a notification to say it's going to be delivered today, and I'll be really annoyed if it's not, because I, arra I arranged it for today. So, hopefully it comes, and it's not a wasted day here, but while I am here, I might as well start unpacking. So, I'm standing in my new kitchen, and there's a lot of boxes, and the pantry is not done yet. Um, I'm still waiting for the boards to come so that I can make shelves in it but I know what is not going in the pantry so I think at least I can get a couple of boxes put away. Um, I've got a bit of an idea of where I want things to go. Um, the cupboards kind of limit me a little bit because we have some really like small cupboards in depth. Um, these cupboards behind me aren't full bottom cupboards, they're like they're even smaller than the top cupboards in depth so um, I need to kind of be mindful about what I want to put in there because it can't be too wide or deep it needs to be able to fit in there um, but I'm going to try and figure it out I think in these top cupboards here I'm probably going to put mugs and stuff because I thought that would be a nice little area for like a tea slash coffee station um, so yeah I'm going to get started morning guys it is bright and early even though it doesn't feel that bright on moving day um me and the kids had to come up to the house early this morning i think it's currently about half past eight because the bt engineer is coming to fit our internet today so um we figured we'd need internet to move in because of avery's baby monitor and keeping them all happy <laughs> um so we chose today as our moving day um it's going to be a bit of a manic day because i need to try and sort the house out to the point where um josh can get big stuff in later josh is working today so when he gets home he's going to be lugging all the stuff over luckily most of it's here it's just a few bigger items like the fridge and the washing machine the tvs and then some last minute bits that are still left at the house oh and all the stuff out the shed and the garden furniture yeah there's still quite a lot to bring so it's going to be a pretty busy day um but we're in and after tomorrow we're literally just going to go back to the old house to clean it and hand the keys back um that's it then we only need to worry about one house i think that's probably been the hardest thing about all of this is kind of the back and forth it'll be nice just to focus on one house i have got so many projects that i want to get stuck into but first things first i kind of need to get at least kind of semi unpacked so that we're functional in the house um well you can see one of the projects behind me the stairs really really need doing and um i have ideas for them which i'm really excited for so there's definitely going to be some um like diy kind of content coming up i can show you what we're going to be doing with the house um avery's appointments luckily have been quiet over the last couple of weeks which has been very very helpful she does have some big ones coming up she has um, pediatric surgery coming up um which is in a hospital about an hour away from here um, she has another appointment at Bristol coming up, which is Complex Movement Disorder Clinic. 
and um, she also has um, she has another short snack thin test snack snack thin test however you say it coming up too so hopefully her cortisone levels might have um, leveled out a little bit and they're behaving so she might be able to come off the hydrocortisone but we'll see so yeah some big appointments coming up lots and lots of house stuff coming up but i'm going to close this vlog out now i will be picking you up in a new one i just don't know when it's going to be coming out i don't know when this one's going to be coming out it will be as soon as i actually have time to sit down and edit um, but thank you so much for being patient with me and i hope you enjoy all of the uh, house content coming up thank you for moving in with me and i will see you guys again soon bye guys